is that guy? Uh, Mr. Blanc is a private investigator of great renown. I read a tweet about a New Yorker article about you. You're famous. The night of his demise, the family had gathered to celebrate your father's 85th birthday. <laughs> And your son, Ransom, did he attend as well? Yes, but he left early. I think Linda was upset. Walt would get a little Irish courage in him. He'd get into it with Harlan. What? Richard said what? Are you baiting me, detective? Attempting to be thorough so we can figure out the manner of death. You mean if someone killed him? <laughs> you think one of us, one of his family, Walt, Walt. killed him? Mr. Blanc, I just buried my father who committed suicide. Why are you here? I suspect foul play. Love it. Now that's a clip from the highly anticipated whodunit film Knives Out coming to theaters November 27th. The film kicks off the Denver Film Festival tonight. Writer and director Ryan Johnson is here and we're so glad to have you on set today with us. Thank you so much for having me. And welcome back to Colorado. You grew up here. I did. I went to Dry Creek Elementary and I was here up through sixth grade and I still have a ton of family here so I get back here all the time. That's fantastic and yeah. congratulations on your new uh, marriage. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. Very it's happy. You got new hardware. I did, exactly. I'm still getting used to wearing the ring. Yeah, that happens all the time. <laughs> all right, I want to talk about really your career, and you've made a lot of movies that fall into a lot of different genres. So really, where is your sweet spot when it comes to directing and writing? I just love a good story, and I, I've done a bunch of different genres, and I've done, the last movie I made was a Star Wars movie, and before <laughs> that I made a, like a weird time travel movie, I made detective movies. So I just, I love a good story, and I love to make something that audiences can have a blast watching sure. and that can also get to the end of and feel like maybe they have just a little bit to chew on yeah. not just empty calories so that's yeah. great and I love the way you just said yeah and I made a Star Wars film <laughs> like it was no big deal I can't imagine getting that call from George Lucas a few yeah. years ago to say hey I want you to work on this enormous project it was the Star Wars the last Jedi yeah. outstanding and how oh, fun it was it I had the time of my life I still can't believe I got to do that's it it's a bucket list it for really sure was, yeah. right yeah. yeah now you've also directed in some really highly acclaimed episodes episodes of Breaking Bad. Yes. So what drew you to that series? Well, I mean, Vince Gilligan, who created that series, is a genius, and that's just one of the best shows that's ever been on TV. I felt really lucky I got to, I feel like I got to ride that bus for a couple of stops, and yeah. I feel really, really blessed I got to do that. I mean, the writing was amazing. Those actors, mm -hmm. Aaron Paul and mm -hmm. Ryan Cranston and Anna Gunn, yeah, it's hard. To, it's hard to go wrong. Right, yeah. and award-winning. Oh, truly. Oh my God, yeah. Isn't yeah. that incredible? Yeah, and so totally, when yeah. we talk about those genres, there you are, from Breaking Bad to Star Wars, and then of course this Who Done It, who we're, which we're going to talk about in just a few minutes. Yeah. But you're really masterful at taking those on-screen relationships to unexpected places, whether that's um, a little venomous or intense, sometimes funny. Yeah. And so, how do you do that? Well, I mean, I I love doing stuff that just kind of like surprises the audience a little bit. I mean, in this one, it's really fun. We have an amazing cast, and part of the fun of it is seeing some of these actors you know really well doing things that you don't expect them to do. Sure. Daniel Craig, for instance, if you just know him as James Bond, you <laughs> might think he's a very se severe, serious person. I mean, first of all, in real life, he's the most fun dude in the universe. Yeah, <laughs> he's just kind of a awesome. goofball. But in this, he's playing like a big, fun character. He's got a southern accent, and he's kind of being goofy, and he's so good at it, and he's having so much fun on the screen. And you, you can see that in the trailer. Yeah. You see that other side of him as a character actor that you just you can, you don't know. You see him in this, and you're like, that is not what I would have expected, exactly. and I want to see more of him doing that. <laughs> it's really fun. Absolutely. Well, yeah. speaking uh, of doing more of that, Let's talk about Knives Out. Really, it's been called uh, funny and, and sort of a modern take on a whodunit. Yeah. And your tribute to Agatha Christie. And again, you don't do anything small. This cast is incredible, and, and <laughs> including Daniel Craig. Who else do you have? Oh, gosh. We have Daniel Craig, Chris Evans, Tony Collette, Michael Shannon, Jamie Lee Curtis, yeah. Don Johnson, Christopher Plummer, the great Christopher Plummer is in our movie. It's, I mean, the idea was a, let's do a fun whodunit in the old Agatha Christie style. It's set in modern day, so it's a little different. There's a fresh spin on it. And then let's put an all-star cast together where every single person who comes on screen, you, the audience feels like, oh, I love them. I, well, again, yeah. you watch the trailer and you go, wait, yeah. she's in it and he's <laughs> in it and everything else. So was it hard to get all of those folks together and really time this out so that you could have that really A-list Well, I have a really good producer, so he, held, <laughs> he was the one who had to deal with I just got to show up on set and have fun with everybody. <laughs> yeah. What was the best part for you really taking that script uh, to film? 
Well, I mean, besides getting to work with this cast, yeah. this is also just a genre that I've wanted to do forever. And a whodunit, like a really old school whodunit. It is. There's nothing more fun than than an old school whodunit. I grew up r reading Agatha Christie's books, and I it's a genre I just adore. And so to get to do a, like a modern one, I don't know, that felt that was really yeah. really fun. And there's your inspiration right That's there. It, right That's there, fantastic. Yeah. So was there a character or actor who surprised you who really stepped out of the box? I think Daniel yeah. Craig would be one of them. But anybody he is. Else? Well, I have to say, so you know, it's all of these recognizable movie stars, but there's one actor in it. Her name is Anna de Armas, and she's done a lot of work, but she's not as well known as the rest of the cast. She really plays an incredibly central character, though, and she had to step into this cast full of movie stars uh -huh. and step into the center of this movie and have the confidence to just carry the film, and she really bears a lot of the emotional weight of the movie. And she's absolutely extraordinary. I'm really excited for audiences to kind of see her in this because she's 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 probably the biggest surprise. In and that, that may just be a breakout role for her then. You yeah, know? she's you, really talented. You never know. Yeah. We love that talent on the screen. All right, was it true that all the actors you know chose to st stay in the Knives Out house versus going back to their trailers? It was yeah. just a fun environment, it sounds like. Well, they were all having so much fun together. Yeah, we shot in, it, you know, it takes place in like a murder mystery mansion. Okay. Just picture the front of a clue board, and that's kind of the house that we found. But it was a real house in Massachusetts, and we were, you know, out there with the whole cast shooting. And in between takes, usually everyone goes back to their trailers and gets yep. on their phone with their agent. Yes. With this, everyone was having so much fun. They hung out like in the basement of this house. There was this rec room with like a pool table, and they all just went down there and like hung out and told stories. It was it was like summer camp for movie stars. It was it was crazy. <laughs> it was so much fun though. Creating creating memories and stories in a time that they yeah. won't forget as yeah. well. Yeah, exactly. All right, I want to move on and really get into the spirit of of Knives Out and, and test your powers of deduction if, oh, if boy. you know if you'd like to play a little game. You up for I, it? I can write them. I don't know if I can solve them. Let's find You're out. You're going to be great. Go. All right. All right. Okay. I'm going to read a line from a movie and one of the actors in Knives Out actually said this line in another movie. All right. And you have to tell me the actor and the movie. See how All right. We do. Here All we right. go. First okay. one is, upon defeating his nemesis, this character says, last rat standing. Who said it? Last rat standing. Last rat standing. Oh, no. Mm. Is it, uh, is it, Daniel Craig? Yeah, yeah. which Does movie? It, oh no, is it, which James Bond movie exactly. is it? Exactly, which one? Is it the last one, is it Spectre? It is Skyfall. Skyfall, oh, that's so good. Close. That's all right, we'll Start give you half a point S. for there. Okay, all right, all right here we that. go with the next one. All right, when this military man finds love, he says, you have brought music back into my life I had forgotten. Who said it? Oh my goodness, is it? Think, uh, think music. Musical. I, I'm thinking musical. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to guess this is Christopher Plummer in yes. the song um, Sound of Music. Very good. Ding, 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 ding. Got it. All right. Gosh. I can do this all this day. Tough. This is tough. I can do this all day. Who said it? I can do it? this all day. Is that, uh, oh, that would be Chris Evans as Captain that's, America. That's right. Yes. Right. He said it in the first adventure and in Civil War and Adventures Endgame. It's his thing. It was a, it was a line he used a lot. All right. She says into the phone, Linda, if this is a joke, I'll kill you. Oh, my goodness. She says... She says, is it Jamie Lee it Curtis? Is. is it in Halloween? Yes, it is. Oh, thank God. Oh, you are good. Oh, thank God. All right, we have time for a little bit more. Okay, okay. portraying a dedicated crime fighting officer from Colorado. She says, maybe I'll get a tattoo on my A. It's kind of meta. Oh, my God. I mean, this sounds like something that Tony Collette would say. Right. <laughs> Do you remember the character she played? Oh, it's boy. a crime it, fighting police officer crime from Colorado. Crime fighting police officer from Colorado. Is it in. Uh, a recent, I'm gonna need a little bit of help with this. Yeah, yeah okay, Grace Rasmussen. And did you ever see that in mm. Unbelievable? Oh, no, I haven't seen Unbelievable yeah, yet. Okay, so everyone has been good. telling me how great it, it is. It is a great one, I did see that. I haven't seen it yet. Okay, all right, it's on my hey, list, it's in my good. queue. Oh, I got I'm, I'm gonna give them to you. Oh, I appreciate just that, Because it's Thank a good you. day. All Thank right, you. what's next for you, Ryan? I'm just, I'm, 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 we're putting the movie out, it comes out Thanksgiving, so I'm traveling around with it, and then I'm figuring out what I'm gonna write next. It's kind of exciting, yeah. Maybe do another one of these, get Daniel back and do another another mystery with Why Benoit not? Blanc. It'd People be fun. love it. People yeah. love it. It's really fun. We'll Thanks see. for visiting and uh, welcome back. Thanks for having me. You're this very welcome. Fun, yeah. I'll see you tonight at the premiere. Great. All right. Uh, you definitely want to see the film Knives Out in theaters. It opens on November 27th and it kicks off the Denver Film Festival tonight. Learn more at denverfilm.org.